Hi, this is Rick Kearney at Earl Stewart Toyota, and we're talking about cars. We're here in South Florida, and it gets hot. So everybody here loves their air conditioning. But how many people actually know even the barest idea of how air conditioning really works? Well, it's actually a very simple system. There's a refrigerant gas that is used to cool the entire system. It's run in a closed system. Now, older cars, we used Freon, R12. We can't use it anymore because of the atmosphere. So now we're using R134A gas. However, this stuff stays in the system, and it doesn't leak near as much as they used to. If your air conditioning is starting to glow warm, have it checked to see if you have a leak. If you do, it's time to replace whichever component's leaking. Now, what sort of components are there? Well, there's only three major ones. The compressor, which actually takes the low pressure gas and compresses it into a high pressure gas, nice and straightforward. The condenser up at the front, which basically acts like a radiator. It takes that high pressure gas, condenses it into a liquid, and lets the air blow across it from the front of the car to remove the heat from that gas. Then, that gas is sent as a liquid now back into what's called the evaporator core. Again, this looks like a small radiator, and it's actually inside your cabin of your car. Air is now blown over that evaporator, which takes the heat out of the air, and it also removes moisture. That's why when you look underneath the car, you'll see water dripping. That's the condensation that is removed from that air. You now have cool, dry air being blown into your car for you. If any of those components starts to leak, it needs to be replaced. It's not something you want to wait on because they're never going to get better. They're only going to get worse. One of the things you might notice, especially on the modern cars, if one side of your car seems to be getting cooler air than the other side, that's a very good indicator that that refrigerant level is getting low, that you do have a small leak somewhere. One of the issues we have here in South Florida especially is odor. We have very humid air here. Our humidity, second to none as far as I'm concerned. So unfortunately, that wet, moist air sitting in that evaporator core box, which is now very tightly sealed for efficiency's sake, can lead to a little bit of a moldy or musty odor. Well, it's just like if you take a wet towel and throw it in the corner of your closet. You come back a couple days later and pick it up, it doesn't smell too pretty. Here's a good suggestion. When you're on your way home, when you're gonna stop and park the car for a couple hours, shut the air conditioning off. Just turn off the switch and leave the blower fan on. As a matter of fact, set it to high so that it blows lots of air across that evaporator core. This will help to blow that water off of the core and dry it up a little bit. Dry items don't mold or build it. There's really not a lot of maintenance available on air conditioning. They just don't need it. If the system's operating, you don't have to worry about it. You're fine. Stay cool in South Florida.